Okay, now we're gonna take a weight on a walk. Now, I've got a whole collection of weighted objects here. I've got a kettlebell, a dumbbell, a case of water cans, I've got my tool chest, I've got a sledgehammer. There is no wrong weight to choose here. The wrong one is the one you can't pick up, right? So if you have a suitcase that's packed for a trip, take that on a walk. The object of this is to pick it up and to walk with it. Now, you could walk if it's a kettlebell or something that's a little bit less cumbersome than, say, a tool chest. You could carry it here. You could carry it overhead. Or you could carry it at the suitcase carry. You're only carrying one. So you've got lots of options to change hands. Well, you've got two options to change hands. And um, move, move the weight around. The goal is to not put the weight down for the entire walk. That's your goal. So you want to judge the weight that you choose accordingly. But if you got something that's a little more awkward to carry, it's going to be it's just going to be a little bit different. A sledgehammer you could carry here. Or here. There's no wrong way to do this, you guys. You could carry it in one hand, carry it in two hands. So give this a shot, play with it, take a weight for a walk. It's, it's, a, it's intended to not fit into the, the context of what is normal. And that's on purpose because you're gonna be carrying stuff in your life that is unnormal for the rest of your life. So you might as well train for it. Take a weight on a walk.